When your website visitor clicks on a button that says, hey, this is gonna happen, but then something different happens? Well, it's round four of the CTA Wars on Trade Pending TV. The CTA Wars acknowledge that all of us software vendors are competing for finite real estate on a dealer's website. If we can control the buttons, we can claim all the results. We're all guilty of this. There is nothing wrong with healthy competition amongst us, but sometimes us vendors do go astray. And let's look at this example, which we also highlighted in round three. You should check that one out. When you go through the trade pending process, it's literally less than a minute. You're capturing on your website those top of the funnel shoppers, the vast majority of people on your site. In the second example, the user gets dropped into essentially a full-blown buy a car online experience. The tagline says in less than a minute, given the appearance of a quick process, but then the first thing the user sees is minutes and minutes and minutes of work. Well, whether or not it actually takes that long, if they are not ready to buy a car online, they're bouncing out and your conversion rates are going to reflect that. It's really a misunderstanding of where the buyer is in their shopping journey. And you can see the same confusion, the same type of confusion playing out when someone is looking to value their trade in or calculate a payment and unexpectedly get dropped into a real-time chat. Like, whoa, where am I? Yes, you want to capture those top of the funnel browsers. Yes, you want those highly motivated lower funnel shoppers. And you want to give chatters the ability to chat when they're ready. Just be really clear about what's going to happen when your customers click on that button. See you next time.